One of the reasons you're having trouble with the signal of Scott here in Orlando is because it started to rain. But I want to show you the people who are still here while it's raining are folks who have been standing in line for more than 11 hours. When the call went out this morning, it said urgent. We need blood, O negative, O positive, and AB plasma. And these people with umbrellas moving toward the front door have been here since the call went out this morning. They showed up thinking, what can we do? This is the only thing we can do. There was one moment today that was a bit controversial. There were gay men who showed up. Since this directly affected the gay community, they wanted to give back. They were told they could not and turned away. That's because the FDA long had a regulation which said gay men cannot donate blood. But the FDA has since changed that regulation. The company where we are tonight is still updating their policies and procedures, and so they were not ready to receive the donations from gay men. And that is why those gay men were turned away. But that has not stopped the stream of people that are here outside the building. We're told nearly 3,000 to 3,500 people have stood here and elsewhere across the state of Florida. And the urge continues tonight, at least the request for more blood. Scott, anyone over the next 48 hours can give blood, and we're told that within 24 hours of testing that blood, it can be given to one of the victims. David Begno reporting for us. David, thank you, and we'll be back from Orlando in just a moment.